here with Jared from Corsair, and we're talking about a bunch of awesome headsets. We got a couple of analog ones here I see, and a bunch of uh, USB uh, 7.1 headsets. Go, let's just start at the end here, and we'll talk our way down. Oh, absolutely. So we've got five new headsets that we launched here, so it's pretty, well, a bunch of headsets actually to talk about. The first two, like you said, is we have a HS30 and HS40. And these guys are actually our Raptor stuff. We bought Raptor about a year ago, acquired a company, and these are the first two that we've developed in the headset line. So both of these are great. 40 millimeter drivers on both of these, and we've got both an analog and a USB version with 7.1. And that's Raptor uh, HS30 and HS40. Uh, the other things that we've got here, we've actually got the Vengeance, and on the Vengeance line, we've got a new analog, a new USB 7.1, and a new wireless. So what's cool about these is actually on both the, the, the analog version of this as well as the USB version, the 1400 and the 1500 V2, we have updated the speaker drivers themselves. And what that means is you actually get a little bit more volume, you get a little bit more bass, uh, so it's a little punchier, which is great. The other thing is, of course, we've updated the finishes and fit and feel, so of course it does have the nice brushed metal finish now. And uh, generally speaking, you know, those kind of updates. The other thing that we've done for these guys is we've actually added a new compact inline remote. If you remember the old remote, it was great, but this one is smaller inline and easy to use from that perspective. And that's for both of these headsets. So, so then the final one that we're actually announcing here at PAX is the 2100. Now, Vengeance 2100 is great because uh, if you guys were familiar again with the Vengeance 2000, it has all of the same good things that it had on the Vengeance 2000. So it's 50 millimeter drivers, really comfortable, has the memory foam, uh, microfiber covered. So really good for like hours and hours of gaming, you know. But the other thing is we've actually made it just a bit more durable. So we've actually re-engineered some of the uh, design inside to make sure that a wireless headset would stand up to some of the kind of abuse that people give it. Uh, frankly, people have a tendency with wireless to, to toss it a little bit further or drop it a little bit more. And so uh, try to make sure that that's really, really durable. All right. What? I can't even hear that thing over there anymore. This is actually kind of nice. No, they, they, uh, they're nice sound canceling. I like that. I mean, it's, it's, it, it muffles enough of the ambient sound that I have to yell to talk because I can't even hear myself speak. It's kind of nice. Um, I, like, I like the microphone. It's, you know, it tucks away. Does this disconnect at all or is it permanently attached? It doesn't disconnect, but it does mute it. So if you just uh, flip it up, it's actually oh, you, your mute for your microphone as well. That's cool. This mutes the microphone. So you know, we can you know, unmute it and talk it in. I feel like I'm an airplane pilot or Absolutely. New mouse pads. This is one of the stiffer ones that's got, uh, what do you call it? What would you... So this is actually a hard plastic surface. Hard plastic surface. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you talk about so it. So we have actually the MM400 Compact, and it's a new size of our MM400 line. Perfect surface for the kind of the fast movement. It's got a good texture, and it will read almost any, any kind of mouse sensor that you throw it, it will be able to read on that. It's great. Uh, the other one we got is we have our new extended version of the MM200, and our MM200s are our cloth mats. Okay. now. This one here, this I mean, this thing is pretty big. Is this the biggest mouse pad that you guys make? This is absolutely the biggest mouse pad. Obviously, that one matters most. All right, Jared, let's take a look at the keyboards. What do we have here? Well, we got a couple of cool things on the keyboard front. The first one here is the K30. K30 is an essential gaming keyboard. It really, uh, it's a great way to cut into gaming keyboards and get a start. It is adjustable backlighting, red version, of course. It has uh, a whole column of uh, G keys as well, so you can set up your macros. And it does have those with three M's, M keys, so that means that you can set up to 18 of your favorite uh, actions, spells, whatever you need on it. The other thing that's really cool is it does have a game-optimized anti-ghosting, which means that every key that you actually try to hit will actually translate directly into the gameplay. So, so you could maybe you guys, someone can make a game where you sit on the keyboard and just jump up and down or something, and it like absolutely. Now that might be a strange game, but we could do it. We can that with an Oculus Rift, and we're all good to go. Yeah. Let's take a look at the um, the blue and the browns. Yeah, so one of the cool things that we're showing here is we actually have a K70MX Brown and a K70MX Blue uh, available for uh, people to come out and touch and actually feel and take a look at for the first time. We did announce those back at Computex, but what's cool about it now is that we are pre-selling them currently and we'll be shipping them by middle to the end of this month. Uh, what are your favorite switches personally? So personally for gaming, I really like the Reds. That's why we do so many things with the Cherry MX Reds, but when I'm typing, and frequently in my job, I do have to write long documents. I do like the Browns. I think they're great for that. And a pretty good compromise if you're trying to get a little bit of game and do a little bit of work as well. All right, thanks. Thank you.